Maybe there's some more valuable stuff in here. What? I don't know what I'm even looking at. Is that it? I accidentally scored two huge Pokemon cards when unboxing this sports card box from Shop Goodwill. Like I said, I got this one from Shop Goodwill. I've had so much success on there, um, so I just wanted to keep the momentum going. This one should be a fun one. It isn't quite as big of a box as I have been unboxing, but it was about three and a half to four pounds, I believe, in total. First, I did want to announce some winners of the Carlton Fisk All-Star Rookie Card and the Trey Young Rookie Card. First, the Carlton Fisk All-Star Rookie Card goes to Duke Axe. And Young J. Cole, you are the winner of the Trey Young rookie card. Congratulations to both of you. All right, as you all know, every video, we do a ton of giveaways here on this channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving away, let's see, do this Joe Burrow hit green parallel rookie card. And we'll do this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 30th anniversary silver rookie card as well. So these will both be in this video's giveaway for the overall video. Since we're in the middle of the baseball season, go ahead and comment your favorite modern baseball player currently playing and your favorite baseball player of all time. That will enter you into the contest to win one of these two cards. Good luck and I hope you win. Now let's get into some cards. Should have all three major sports, maybe some other random cards um, scattered throughout. Also, there's some Pokemon cards. I have no idea what those are. Y'all are going to help me unless there's a Charizard rookie card <laughs> and listen to me, rookie card. I clearly know nothing about um, Pokemon cards, but I do know there is a Charizard that is super valuable. I think Logan or Jake Paul, one of them, um, it was pretty popular whenever he got one graded 10 and it was worth whatever it was worth. It was worth the, the most out of any Pokemon, I believe, um, at least at that time. Um, but unless there's that in here, that's the only card I really know what it looks like. So unless there's that. I have no idea, so please help me out on the Pokemon cards. So help me out, and we'll make sure to, to give away um, those Pokemon cards, or at least the ones that, that I can. If there is a Charizard, I may not be able to give that one away, but, you know, um, we always like to give away um, as many cards as possible here on the channel. All right, let's get into it. And I did want to mention we will have a ton of Easter eggs in this uh, video, so make sure to watch till the end. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and be the first one to comment whatever card I'm giving away at that time. So the Cameron Thomas I saw on top, um, this rated rookie optic card, um, will be the first Easter egg in the video. So go ahead and comment Cameron Thomas optic rated rookie. Be the first one in the comment section below to comment that and you will win this card. Good luck. That was a nice card to, to start off. There was a bunch of actually really, really nice cards um, on top. Here is a Kurt Schilling. I think that's his, that's his rookie card. Well, I think that would actually be a rated rookie too, but I do think that is his rookie card, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but decent card there. You see, you got some 86 um, Fleer cards in there. Oh, nice. Trevor Lawrence, actually in pretty good condition considering how this was packaged. I don't like the card just throw it in there, but there's really nothing I can do whenever I buy it from Shop Goodwill and I don't have any control over the packaging or anything like that. It is just what it is whenever you buy on a website like this. But considering I only spent $25 on this entire lot, I can't complain too much. I think this should be one of my best buys yet. This will be the second card in the giveaway. This is a Trevor Lawrence wildcard illumination rookie card. Um, so first person to comment Trevor Lawrence wildcard illumination rookie card in the comment section below will win this card. Good luck. All right, here comes the fun part. We are hoping, obviously, for a Michael Jordan rookie card. I have my doubts, obviously, but there are so many cards in this set. They're so valuable, especially if they're in good shape and they're centered, that we will take just about any of them in really good shape because we can send those off to PSA and get them graded. Unfortunately, I'm thinking none of them are going to be in good enough shape to send off just because of how they packaged them, unfortunately. So we got Wayne Rollins. Steve Johnson, Jeff Malone, that Jeff Malone's, oh, uh, that bottom right corner, I guess, and top right, but nice Jeff Malone there, he's a pretty good player, Calvin Natt, Mike Mitchell, Mark Eaton, Pat Cummings, Hugh Green, Stan Royer, Michael Jenkins, and this is where I'm going to need y'all's help in the comment section below, like I said, I have just about zero experience with Pokemon cards or just the Pokemon umbrella is a the, the Pokemon brand as a whole. Um, so I do need your help in identifying anything that's valuable or rare. Um, I know Pikachu in the Charizard card, um, but 
that pretty much is it. Oh, I know Jigglypuff and Kirby as well, but I don't even know if Kirby is Kirby Pokemon. Anyways, let's get into the Pokemon cards. There's a ton in here. Um, I didn't buy them for the Pokemon cards. I actually bought them because I saw those 86 Fleer. But that being said, if there's anything valuable in here, a win's a win. We will take whatever wins we can get. So whatever that is, that, oh, what is that? Pocket monsters. Huh, I thought these were Pokemon cards. Is that what it's called? Maybe in Japan, maybe? I believe this is where it was created. Um, hmm. Let me know in the comment section below what pocket monsters are. I didn't, hmm, I didn't see that in the listing. All I saw was Pokemon, but they look identical to Pokemon cards and they have the little Pokemon ball. So we'll see. Uh, Venomoth, Venomoth, something like that. Um, Moltres, Lapras, Aerodactyl, something like that. Uh, Doug Trio, Jol Jolteon. Um, that looks different. What is that? Digimon monsters, digital monsters, whatever. Crabman is, and a, a bitter a Bidramon. Huh, interesting. A couple of mucks. See, oh yeah, those are Pokemon. I'm wondering, I guess those are just the Japanese version. Um, Hunter, Beedrill, Trainer. Oh, cool. There's a hollow one. That's pretty sweet. Trainer, that is, okay. So that's a Pocket Monsters one. It's also a Japanese one. Another Trainer, is that a hollow? Yeah, that looks like a hollow as well. Nice. Dragonair. Oh, cool. Huh. Hit. Hitmanchen, and that looks like a hollow there. And then Vile Plume, that is not a hollow, but pretty sweet. Kabutops, awesome, I love that. Will Purdue, Tops Gold, Polyrath, oh, and Mr. Mine. All right, I just figured out what I'm gonna do with the Pokemon cards. So the top 10 people that helped me identify the most valuable cards that are the Pokemon cards in this box, I will create a little bundle of some of the Pokemon cards and send them out to each one of you just to thank you for your help. Hopefully there's some big hits in here. I honestly don't know. This one may be just the biggest hit in the world. And I don't know, it just kind of looks like a fat turtle. Kind of like, um, what's that one from Star Wars? Jabba the Hutt maybe? Kind of looks like a turtle version of Jabba the Hutt kind of with that face with that big old gullet. But I don't know, that's a hollow. V Venusaur, Clefairy doll or something. Another Japanese one, super energy removal. These look like common ones. Trainer, imposter, professor, oak. Item finder, Pokemon breeder. Um, one of those pocket monsters. Oh, more of those pocket monsters. What year is this? Oh, hmm, 1996. I guess, I wonder if that's the first year or something. Huh, whatever these are, kind of go slowly through them so y'all can get a good look at them. So y'all can let me know what all those were. I have no idea. Oh, cool. Another foil one. It says 1999. I don't know if that's like the first year or second year. The other one said 1996 for the pocket monsters. So we'll see. Um, but that's a cool aerodactyl. That one actually really foils. Nice bright stars. That's a cool card. Oh, and that's just the generic version, I guess, of that. Cool. Pigged it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Pit, pit, piggy it? Something like that. It's a cool foil card. Nice. Another foil cool card. Vaporeon. Nice. Flareon. All right. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I thought I saw that. Oh, did I just see something pretty sweet from the Pokemon? I don't know. It was definitely a foil, but I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what I was looking at. Um... Sick Ozzy Smith, uh, 1981. Pretty good shape, too, considering maybe the best in-shape card I've seen so far, um, outside of the ones, obviously, in the top loaders. But we'll go ahead and give away this one uh, next in the Easter egg. So first person to comment in the comment section below, 1981 tops Ozzy Smith. In the comment section below, we'll win this card. Good luck. Oh, nice. I was too focused on that Easter egg. I didn't even see this Rolando Blackman. I think, and this isn't in good shape, so it doesn't pertain to this, but I do think this is a super valuable card if you can get it into mint condition. I don't know if it was just because it was underprinted and it's a, well, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but 
for some reason I've looked on websites before and I've just seen how much they go for, but if you have this in good shape, this is actually a really, really valuable card in this set. Uh, Alec Houston, Steve Nash, Ron Harper, Diego Segui, Julio Rodriguez, I like that. That is a sweet card, is that his rookie? Yeah. All right, this will be the next Easter egg in this video. This is a Julio Rodriguez Bowman rookie card here. It's actually, I believe, his like minor league pre-rookie card, but either way, this will be the next one. Um, so first person to comment, Julio Rodriguez rookie card in the comment section below will win this card. Good luck. Nice George Brett. You know what? Might as well go back to back. The first person to comment, AL All-Star George Brett Tops 1981 baseball rookie card in the comment section below will win this card. Good luck. All right, we got some good stuff here. I need a big winner in this though. I would love one. Oh, there for a second I thought that was a that was a Kobe, but Robert Ory. It's a sick card. All right, this was the card I was talking about though. Um, whenever I picked this up, I saw something flash, and it was one of the two actual Pokemons that I really know. Um, I think at least it was a Japanese card. So let's see this make, oh, <laughs> the card fell. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, but is that one valuable? That one's pretty cool. I think that's Pikachu. Kind of looks like a smaller Pikachu than I even remember, but maybe bigger ears, but maybe that's what Pikachu used to look like. My Pokemon knowledge pretty much stops at Super Smash Bros on um, Nintendo 64. I will say, side note, my character was Kirby. If you played that game, let me know who your favorite character was in the game. I would absolutely love to break out my N64 if I can find it. I just don't know where it is. It's somewhere maybe in the attic or somewhere. I'm not sure, but comment below who your favorite character is um, in the comment section below. That one is a foil, by the way, so. Maybe there's some more valuable stuff in here. What? I don't know what I'm even looking at. No. For real? What the heck? Is that it? It's a foil. It's the same picture I remember seeing of Jake Paul or Lo I think it was Logan Paul. What year is that? 1999, I think. Yeah, 1999. It's a hollow. It's the right, it's the right one. But there's gotta be something different about mine. I don't know. That is sweet. <laughs> that is sick. I absolutely love that. I mean, that would be my biggest hit of all time, obviously. But even not. Even if it's not that and there's some sort of variation or whatever difference. I mean, it is the hollow. And it was that picture. I don't know if they duplicated the pictures in multiple years or what. But wow, that is sick. Watch it be like a $5 card. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that's exciting. I may have to pause the video and and see exactly exactly what the difference is on that one. At least I can read that and know what I'm looking up, but that is sick. All right, I'm back. So it looks like I may not be a millionaire off this card, but it's still an insane hit considering I paid $25 for this box and um, honestly have no idea what Pokemon cards are valuable outside of a variation of this, which I, I, I kind of figured because... It just doesn't happen every day where you hit a million dollar card if it grades a, a 10. But in either case, this isn't the first edition with my research. It looks like the, the one that is so valuable is the first edition of this. And there's something around like a, a shadowless border here. I think that adds value as well. So nevertheless, there's still an insane hit out of this box. And that's hilarious that the one card I, I really didn't know about was this one. And I guess it was just a variation difference, but um, still that is sweet. That just paid for the the box, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 times over or so based off of what I, I could see, but really, really cool card. And it looks like it's in really good shape. Hasn't really been played. So nice, that's awesome. All right, so I don't know <laughs> where we left off, but um, wow, that was awesome. Really cool. Um, this card, whatever that is, um, that little creature, that is a hollow. It's one of those pocket monsters. There's another hollow. Wow. 
this may be like insane stuff in here. If that's in there, I don't even know what I'm looking at. So y'all are gonna have to let me know because I honestly, I don't even know how to look these up. At least the other one, I knew what character it was and that was an English card. Um, I don't speak Japanese, unfortunately, um, but these may be insane. They may be worth $5. I have no idea. Whoa, what is that? I'm, what are we looking at? It's, it's in an Oriole, I can't speak, Orioles top loader. Nice. Um, interesting. I don't know what that is. It's kind of a creepy looking card though. Oh, cool. Even the back is a, like a refractor or a hollow card. That's sick. Really, really cool. Mewtwo or something, hollow. Oh, and another one of those Mr. Mime regular cards. Hollow, whatever that creature is. Cool. Nice card. Is that is that of the Puff family? Kind of looks like Jigglypuff. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe maybe it's uh, akin to Jigglypuff or a Kirby. Pink and fluffy like them, but I don't know. Cool card, hollow. I just don't know what to look up with those, so... Y'all's help is going to be much needed with this. Thank y'all. All right. Here's a few more. I'm going to flip through these. These look like commons. It kind of has been pretty consistent that the top loaders have the hollows in them. But let me know on those what we got. Oh, sweet. That is a cool energy hollow card. Then a trainer there on the back. Hollow. Another hollow. Hollow. Some of these top loaders have two cards, so it's the reason I'm flipping them over. Hollow. All right, I will really need y'all's help. There's so many in here. Like, I have no idea. I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible so I can get y'all's um, help on those, though. Here's some more, but these are all, it looks like just the common cards. Oh, maybe except for that last one. What is, ooh, that's cool. Kind of, is that a newer one? Kind of looks a little newer, and that whole car is a hollow, and then the picture isn't. I don't know. I'm not sure. This up. Oh, cool. Reggie Miller, top chrome. Oh, another Kurt Schilling. Uh, Juwan Howard, rookie card. Alan Trammell, Kelvin Pritchett. The Tom Seaver. Carl Yastrzemski, Ricky Henderson. George Bell, Kevin House. Oh, nice. Keith Van Horn. Is that a Metal Universe rookie? Yeah, cool. I like that. That's a cool card. Maybe a little mark up there, though, unfortunately, but I like that card a lot. Let me get these cards in order. Steve Watson, Robert Reed. All of these, un unfortunately, all of the 1986 cards. Steve Watson, Rick Upchurch. A nice card there. Well, except for that corner. Fortunately, a lot of these cards are bent, and I do like some of them, um, but unfortunately, it's hard to get a whole lot for these older cards in the 80s, um, even if they're rare, like the 1986 Fleer set, even if they're in really poor condition, people still expect them to be in nice condition, so unfortunately, they, they won't bring in as much as I was hoping for, um, but it looks like we may turn into a Pokemon fan after this video. Because, boy, we got some crazy stuff in here, it looks like. Rebound King. That's a cool card. I like that. I haven't seen that before. Dirk Hatchet. Joe Cribs. Tony Gwynn. Ryan Sandberg. Oh, nice. Sam Bowie. Oh, and that actually looks not half bad. Pretty, pretty decent on the centering. I know that's a huge problem with these cards is the centering overall, but... Here, let me actually take this card out. Maybe a smidge off-centered, but overall, really sick card there. In good condition, too. Larry Johnson, PJ Brown, Ron Harper. Oh, nice. Crystal Ball, Allen Houston. It's a cool card. Avery Johnson. Oh, nice. Terry Cummings. I just saw a card back there that we'll 
We'll do an Easter egg here in a second, look like. All right, we'll do an Easter egg here in a minute. I, I don't know if y'all saw that card, but pretty sweet card. Rick Up Church again, Clyde Drexler. Here it is. Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel, draft picks, rookie card. That is a really nice card. Very, very nice. That is a sweet card. All right, first person to comment in the comment section below, draft picks, prestige, rookie card, Johnny Manziel, or Johnny Football. I'll take either. First person to do that, though, will win this card. Good luck. Also, make sure you are subscribed to me. Please, please, please. Um, if, if you are entering into these contests, make sure you are a subscriber. For the playoffs, is that Ben Baker? Yeah, Ben Baker, but that card's in bad condition. Malik Rose, rookie. I like that. That's a cool card. Gary Payton. Tom Bahali. Jim Paxson. Oh, wow. What a bad card there outside of that corner. But I really like these. And like I said, this, this is the whole reason I got these, just at the chance at one of the big names. Obviously, Michael Jordan would be insane, but really any of the top players at that time, these cards are really valuable. And that draft class was insane. I don't know if there's another draft class in any sport quite as good is that draft class um, in 19, what, what, I guess it was technically the 1985 draft class, I believe. Whichever one it was though, it was nuts. Um, I'll drop a list, but I mean, absolutely crazy, crazy um, amount of just all time greats came out of that class. Oh, here we go. We got more of these. Did we see that guy already? I think we did. I think that was the jo job of the hut. Maybe it's uh, his brother, cousin. That one looks a little thinner. Maybe it was before he had kids or something, but I don't know. That's a pretty sweet card. Another one there. Another hollow. Oh, is that Squirtle? I have heard of Squirtle. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. He kind of looks like a mean squirrel. Or a squir squirrel. Squirtle. I don't know about that. Ooh. Um, Giovanni Gerardos, that one, that one is bent, unfortunately, right in the middle, big crease. Lapras, oh, here's a Lapras Hollow. Oh, Moltres Hollow, cool. Uh, Gerardos, is that a Hollow? Kind of looks like it. Mm. Yeah, there we go, nice. And then a Beedrill, regular there. Hitman Lee, known for... I guess it's kicking. Another hollow there, and then a, oh, ditto on the back. Well, that's a nice Steve Nash. Benoit Benjamin, Don McNeil, David Woodley. Oh, Steve Nash rookie, nice. NBA hoops. We'll go ahead and give this one away as well. So first person to comment in the comment section below, Steve Nash, NBA Hoops, basketball rookie card. In the comment section below, we'll win this card. Good luck. Andy Rice, Vince Horseman, oh, Ric Flair. Woo! Try to keep that a little quiet. Nice Tim Hardaway, NBA Hoops. Brian Hill. Wally Joyner, Rich Gossage, The Goose, Carl Rhodes. Oh, cool. Dylan Brooks, Rated Rookie Optic. Nice. You know what? We'll go ahead and give this one away as well. I honestly, I'm a big fan of Dylan Brooks. He just seems to get under a lot of people's skin, especially other players he plays against. I absolutely love that in a mediocre player. And I shouldn't say mediocre. He's, he's pretty good, but... Uh, he, he may not be quite as good as his talk is in getting under people's skin, but that's all part of the game. And honestly, as long as it's not like someone like Michael Jordan where you may get under his skin enough for him to go off for 60, that is totally fine. You just got to choose your battles um, whenever you're kind of an antagonist in the NBA or any sport for that matter. But this will be the next giveaway in the Easter eggs. Comment below Dylan Brooks rated rookie optic in the comment section below. Good luck. Nothing there. There are a few more top loaders and maybe a few more of the 1986 Fleer basketball cards still. Um, so far, I don't think there's been any sports cards in the top loaders, I don't believe. Um, it's been only those Pokemon, so I'm assuming those are Pokemon in those. Not for sure, but just assuming. The trend continues. Westbrook Brooks, 
bunch of just common football cards. Playoff Prestige 2004, I believe it said. All right. Oh, sweet. Those are cool. Isaiah Todd, NBA Hoops. Blue parallel rookie card there. That one numbered? I guess that one's not numbered, but either way, we'll go ahead and give that one away. First person to comment in the comment section below, Isaiah Todd, NBA Hoops. Rookie card will win this card. Good luck. And I do want to point out, this is the first one with a screw down. I don't know if that means anything, but I've not seen any others with a screw down. So maybe, maybe it's the first edition Charizard. Maybe it's a, a Pikachu that's valuable. Maybe it's some random common card. I have no idea, but we'll see. Hopefully it's something good though. Kelly Campbell, top draft pick prospect. Wow, I can't speak. Top draft pick and prospects card. John Battle, Steve Trout, Jeff McNeely. All right, just a bunch of junk. Oh, all right. Pincer, like a pincer movement, like in battle, I guess, or pincer grasp, maybe. Is that how you spell it? Either way, that is what that one is, and it's a hollow. Cool. Mag magneton, magneton, hollow. <laughs> Pokemon is really uh, stretching my. Oh, and there was an electrode common on the back, or whatever you call those for this. Um, I will say this Pokemon is really testing my reading ability. Zapdos. Hollow. All right. I think, is that the last? Yeah, that's the last one before the screw down, but Wigglytuff. Hollow. It looks like there is another card behind there, but let's go ahead and look at this screw down. I wonder what it's going to, hmm. we'll see. Hopefully something good. I don't even know why I'm going slow because it's probably going to be meaningless to me, but we'll see. What What is going on? Oh, that. Is this backwards? Oh, it's a Japanese card. So it really will be meaningless. What? No, are you serious? <laughs> what the heck? What am I looking at? It's the same one as the, the other. It's the same Charizard card, but Japanese. Is that valuable? That is so sick though. Oh my, I have no idea. What, what year is that? I don't know. What the heck, let's go. That is so sick. Oh my, I may just have to go full-time Pokemon after this. That is so sick. Dang, awesome. Let's go. I don't know how to look this up, but let me know what y'all think of this. I'll try to find out more information. I'm going to go ahead and try to get through the end of this video so I won't look this one up. I'm hoping this is super valuable. It was the only one in a screw down that I received, so fingers crossed, but we'll see. Um, but hopefully, yeah, this one is really, really cool. And it has, let me try to find the other. I think it's identical, right? Huh. They're both hollow, same. Same exact picture. They look like they're from the same time period, kind of, maybe. This one actually looks to be in a lot better condition. Maybe, honestly, like perfect condition. This one's really good condition, but I wouldn't think, well, I don't know. Some of that may just be dust in there. That one's in really, they're both in really good shape. Um, but that is awesome. I will point out there isn't a first edition on here either for this card. So if it applies to both the Japanese and the American, like it does the American, like I saw for um, like the one that um, Logan Paul got, um, that would make this also not the craziest of value, but still this one was still several hundred dollars raw. So we'll take that obviously all day. Um, but I'm not sure on this. I don't know if the same rules apply to the Japanese cards um, or even maybe there's a reprint or something. I Or not a reprint, um, like a like a remake years down the road. Um, like if they have like an archives or something. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of honestly in shock. 
That is so sick. Awesome. Please let me know as much information as y'all y'all have on these cards. I haven't even turned it over. There's oh sweet. There's this in here as well. Maybe that's super valuable too. If this is the only one in the screw down, I'm assuming they were protecting it for a reason. Is all I'm assuming from the same person. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll all find out together. But sweet, sweet, sweet card. Somehow lucked out with Pokemon in this one whenever I was buying it for the Fleer. Um, but you know what? That's all part of buying on Shop Goodwill. You really just never know what you will come home with. So awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, I don't know what all is left, but Johnny Moore. Too bad that's not in better shape. That's another one that weirdly goes for a lot of money as well. But, um, but it needs to be in better shape than that. Jay Vincent. All right, and we'll flip through these real quick. Just a bunch of football cards here. I don't think anything much. And Danian Tomlinson, Jamal Lewis, Kirk Collins, Sean King. I think that's all she wrote. Since this was the last valuable card we pulled, we'll go ahead and give away this Johnny Moore 1986 NBA Fleer card. First person to comment, Johnny Moore, 1986 Fleer, in the comment section below, we'll win this card. Good luck. All right, guys, so <laughs> that was it. I don't exactly know um, really even what to say because I don't exactly know what I even have here. May have been the best purchase I've ever made. I don't know that for sure, but I know it was a really good one just because of this card. There's a lot of other good cards throughout. Um, a lot of giveaways over here um, in the Easter eggs. A lot of just very valuable, um, popular players um, in, in those. There was a lot of commons, I know, as well. But um, you got to search through all the commons to, to really find the winners um, whenever you're buying stuff on Shop Goodwill, especially these, like, bundles or kind of grab bags, if you will, uh, of donations from, from different locations um, online at, at Shop Goodwill. So that being said, please, 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 those of you who really know um, Pokemon, please help me in the comment section below uh, figure out what I have here. I will make sure to um, send you bundles of, of some of the cards um, that, that I pulled here, um, especially if you like Pokemon. And if you know a lot about Pokemon, but you saw another card that's a sports card that you wouldn't mind having, let me know that so I could um, possibly hook you up there as well. But I, I'm really curious, especially that one. This is kind of a weird card. It was not like any of the other ones in there. And the only thing I can make out in the whole thing is that bottom portion, um, the, the black writing, but that is it. It is sick, but I just don't have any way to look it up. I, I just don't know where to, I would even start. Um, so if y'all can't help me, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out as well. Um, I can post it on Twitter or something or Reddit. Um, and speaking of Twitter and Instagram for that matter, please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram below. I am planning on selling some of the cards that I'm pulling. Um, I'm starting to stack up quite a few cards. I, I sell um, through through different websites and stuff, but I am planning on the videos that I'm shooting on here, posting some of the cards that I'm not giving away, um, but I'll be reselling those on Twitter and Instagram. So check it out there. I'll have everything listed um, and linked in the description below. Make sure you drop your favorite modern baseball player and um, baseball player, your favorite baseball player of all time to enter into the contest to win one of these two cards. Also, don't forget um, to enter into all the Easter eggs to see if you win. You just have to be the first person to comment that card as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. As always, I really appreciate all of your support. We'll see you next time. Peace.